And I would like to take this opportunity to thank IFRIS and the government of Ethiopia for inviting me to participate in this uh, international conference. Uh, regarding to the question, what is the starting point to build resilience in Cambodia? The government of Cambodia have, have a very strong strategy and policy on related to the rectangular strategy and the national development plan that we put the first priority to build the, the country, to develop the country based on policy, peace, political stability, and social security and national reconciliation. Without peace, without uh, political stability and national reconciliation, we cannot develop our country, we cannot uh, uh, reduce the poverty, we cannot uh, be resilient. Let me recall to the history of Cambodia from the last 50 years. Cambodia was uh, received independent from France in 1963 and we have developed our country uh, in a better way uh, and also well known in Asian country. And that time it, uh, governed by the King Norodom Senu. He is a well-known king in the world. And from 1997 to 1975, we have uh, another regime that uh, led by General Lunol that uh, he made a coup d'etat to take power from the king and the country became a civil war. From 1970 to 1975, and then we have a genocidal regime, the Pol Pot genocidal regime from 1975 to 1979. So how did you lift yourself up out of this? <laughs> Actually, we try all the effort to live and to try our best to do, uh, to build the On one hand, we can work to develop the, the country, and on the other hand, we can uh, uh, defend ourselves to fighting with the other faction that along the border. Actually, in Cambodia, we have civil war after the 1999 to 1989. That we have four factors in Cambodia fighting with each other. And during that time, the government is supported by the communism. And the other three factors located at the border, support by the US and other countries. And then in 1991, we have a Paris Peace Agreement that we can talk together and to bring all the conflict party to sit and to build the country. And in 1993, we have the first general election in Cambodia. I've got to, we, we, you're going to run, you're running right out of time. So I want to know what the state of food security was at the end of all of this very, very difficult history. After the government have formed in 1993, we have put a lot of effort to build the country based on the agricultural development. And since then, many project program has been put, put effort to build uh, the agriculture development based on the uh, promote the identification and diversification of the agriculture, and also we can distribute land to the smallholder and in uh, food security household, and also we try to create uh, employment and income generation to the food security household family. And also we encourage uh, the people to assess and the use sustainable use of common resource like fishery and forestry resources. So uh, as a result, Cambodians have made a lot of progress uh, to strengthening food uh, security and nutrition over the last two decades and the country has sell sufficient of food supply and we can produce a, a rice surplus of over 3 million tonne. You've reached self-sufficiency. 
Yeah, and, and surplus. What do you think of that? Isn't that astonishing after that history? That is uh, absolutely, uh, absolutely astonishing. Yes. And now we are on the way to uh, become an imported right country to the region. And we have a new strategy that uh, improve production and right exportation and we aim to uh, export uh, one million tons of rye per year. So your main elements, as you said, was distribute the land, encourage diversification, uh, use employment to try and get income into the area, uh, and then you were obviously, you were using market incentives to try and get the, in, the, the revenue to, were you hooked into international markets? Yeah. Yes. And now you're self-sufficient in, uh, yes. and, and the nutritional status? Regarding to the nutritional state, uh, actually even the agriculture has made uh, progress and we have supply, but the nutrition, child malnutrition and maternal nutrition is still a concern for the country. We, by the statistic that we just saw that uh, for nearly 40% of the children is under five years old is uh, malnutrition well, yeah. and more than 20% of the women is still malnutrition. So there's still a lot of problems. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for telling us that story and the elements of resilience for you. Wow. Thank you very much. Yeah.